Hello. Uh, hi, is this Sierra? Yes, who's calling? Uh, Hi, Sierra. Good morning. My name is Fred. I'm calling from the Fred Show, the morning radio show. The whole crew is here. And I have to tell you that we are on the radio right now. And I would need your permission to continue with the call. Can we chat for just a second on the show? Would you mind? Um, I don't know. What's it about? You can hang up anytime. And I know it's weird to get a call like this. It's kind of startling. But um, actually, I don't know because I probably wouldn't answer the phone. But I'm glad you did. <laughs> I really am. Uh, we're calling on behalf of a guy named Kane. Who uh, oh I guess you met a, okay. Well, you remember Kane. So he called us <laughs> oh and told God. us that he met you at a bar and that as went on a date and and he was excited about you and thought the date went really well. But he says now he can't get uh-huh. a hold of you, uh, or you're not responding to him, and he wants to know why. So what's what's up? What what's your issue with the guy? Wow, wow! I can't believe he called you guys. Um, yeah, Kane. He I met him. I work at the bar where I met him, and um, he was. He was cute, and I was not doing well with dating, and I thought I'd give him a chance, which I don't normally do with guys I meet in the bar, but um, we went out, and the we had one date. One date. It was great. It was fine. Um, he's nice, but then it got weird after that. He got weird, and like right after we went out, or short, like, you know, a couple of days later, like he just started showing up at my bar, um, like saying that he was just in the area or, you know, some other stupid excuse. And, um, I don't know, he got, he just was giving creepy vibes. He came in twice with his friends. He came in like, uh, like three times by himself. Um, and he just, it, oh God, it just felt like he was watching me and like being really weird. So, and like, you know, I'm, I'm, I work at a bar. Like I flirt with guys. That's kind of like, you know, how it happens. Right. And it's kind of part of the gig. He, it's part of the gig. Yeah. And like he, it always felt like he was watching and would get all like weird if they were flirting. And then sometimes he would step in and be like, she's not interested. Oh no. Which was really, okay. that was kind of the, the end of the line. And like, for me. even if you weren't interested, Sierra, you don't need some guy, you know, messing with your, your your work yeah. approach here because I mean you're working for tips and you're it's not that you're being yeah. disingenuous but like you don't you don't need to make the guests feel uncomfortable because this guy you went on one date with is like you know stalking you exactly that's exactly what it felt like it felt like really it got to an inappropriate kind of thing and I just thought I'd you know just stop communicating okay uh, let me bring I forgot to mention that Kane is here so this is mm-hmm. Kane this, this oh, is part of the course I mean you're, you're calling the radio show to expose her but, but yet you're kind of obsessing over her at her work i mean kane you didn't tell us about that part that you don't leave her alone i mean it's just not an accurate representation of what's going on i i it's just not real like what what is an accurate representation then okay so first of all it's a bar i've been there a number of times before i came in with friends i came in to get a drink after work it's I mean, there are a ton of regulars. I'm not there nearly as much as a lot of the other regulars. Mm-hmm. As far as our interactions, I'm just trying to be polite. And, uh, you know, I just don't understand what the problem is. Well, the problem is that she's a big girl and she can fend off guys she doesn't want to be with. And she's also, you're not her boyfriend. So, like, even if she, maybe she does want to flirt I'm with other just people. To be courteous. Yeah, but it's what does like that mean? obvious. What, well, mm-hmm. okay. If, people come up to her and are hitting on her and being aggressive or something i'm just gonna as a courtesy like we, we, i would do it no matter what i would say hey step off you know back off give her some space but or she's, whatever. she's not, not asking interested. for that well, that's not your job that's right i, I shouldn't have to that. ask I'm, tr- I'm sorry am i being punished right now for just being a gentleman it's like oh my is- god <laughs> um i wouldn't call no, that gentleman. Gentleman. i would i would call that stalker and creepy and it and also, like, I, before we went on our date, I think I saw you in the bar one time before that. Like, you're not a regular. And the regulars don't act like you do. Like, they don't intervene with me when I'm talking to other guys. So that's that's not fair to say. I, I yeah, it think. doesn't sound like you're playing it cool here, bro. Like, it sounds like you're being, you know, super aggressive and a little possessive even. 
I'm not possessive. I'm trying to. Okay. That's such a, a, a misrepresentation of the vibe, though. It's not like I'm coming up and punching Ooh. these guys in the face and throwing them out well, of the, the bar. It's good that you're not assaulting I'm people. Just, Kiki, right. <laughs> yeah. Kiki, what's your uh, what's your interpretation of the vibe here? Um, the the vibe is is giving a little cool cool, but that's okay. <laughs> you know, it's, it's it's a lot of people out there, and I'm sure he can find somebody. But I I love that she spotted the cool cool early and got up out of there because I'm a little scared mm-hmm. too. Yeah, I don't. Okay, I, hold on a second. I don't want any. I, if I go out, if I go out with her and she works at the bar, does that mean that I'm banned from the bar forever? I can't go in there and get myself a beer and some chicken wings or something. I mean, that's somewhere I've been going for a while. So yeah. every day, what's right? The problem <laughs> sounds like you were there one know, time right? uh, and you've been going there for a while since you met her. But <laughs> no, you're messing right. with her yeah. money, man. Those tips. Also, yeah, why come on. Text me and tell me this instead of just ghosting me. Like, we're adults, we're not 15, so it just makes more sense for you to say, hey, I had a good time, but blah, 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 whatever, for whatever reason, I don't think we should see each other. And I I just stalking her, bro. (laughs) You're stalking her. I I get it. Yeah, exactly. Like, I I, sure, maybe with like someone else, but you kind of seem like a person who wouldn't take that well, and I was a little nervous to do it. Also, I've seen baby reindeer. Like, that (laughs) is given like that. Uh, this that is, is giving. That is so, where that's so it's cheap. going to. That's that's so uh, cheap of sorry. you to bring that up. This like, is this I, is giving I, a little bit like that. Yeah. Uh, you're my girl, though. I don't know why you can't be like this. Oh. I'm, okay, I'm your I'm man. Right. And <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 yeah, no, this is absolutely <laughs> giving baby reindeer. We went yeah, out. So, no. We had a good time. One time. One time we went out. So you don't want to give it a shot? Like- my man, no, I'm sorry. No, I do not want to give it a shot. This already seems crazy and unhinged, and I do not want a part of this. Let, look, look let I, me just yeah. drop. I'll drop by later. We can talk about oh, this. Oh, no, God. How about don't? How about don't? Dude, for real. Do not drop by later. Girl. Do not drop by later because I Let's will. We will get that. We will escalate person. this to something that no, you don't want. I, babe, you I need to not. You. It'll be fine. Don't call me babe. babe? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. oh, girl, run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, talk to your manager at the bar because we might need yes, some security, right. some bouncers. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, Sierra, keep yeah. in touch with us. Let us know if we can help you because Kane, I think you need to take the hint. Like it's. It, I understand you like her, and I. I understand you were excited about it, but like, I think it's time to let this breathe. Like. Like, completely breathe. Like, to where you are not breathing her air anymore, ever again. Okay. I'm just going to text you when we get off the How about radio. no? How about no? No, oh no. I'm going to, dude, I'm blocking you, and I don't want to see you again. There are plenty of bars in this area. If you think you need to stay in this area, you can go there and and find someone else to suck. Kane, I need you to listen to her when she says to leave her alone, okay? Uh, I, I still think we'll figure this out. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not worried well, about it. Uh, okay. How about you let her reach out to you if she would ever like to do that? It's never going to happen. Okay. But how uh, about you let it? Yeah, you just let her reach out to you. It's the ball's in her court. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. That All right. Good. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I if I happen to pass by the bar, I happen to no, pass by the no, bar. It's not no. purposeful. No, no. <laughs> straight to no. jail. Yeah, yeah, and we don't well, need how, to. You how good are those chicken yeah. wings, though? Are they really good? No, no, Rufio. <laughs> Dude, that's funny. Yeah, other funny. other places have chicken wings. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh no. Hey, uh, Sierra, we're here for you if you need us. Uh, Kane, I need you to promise me we're just gonna take a deep breath. Okay. Good. All right. right. Decided. You know where to find us, Sierra. Guys, uh, best of luck to both of you, okay? Okay. Thank you.